Yes, YouTube. Well, we're still in quarantine. We're still isolating ourselves. Or at least some of them are. Of us are. Um, <laughs> anyway. So, this is a video about uh, me just filling my time, really. Um, but what started off as a little sort of project turned into something slightly bigger and then slightly bigger. It is only one jump, but um, when my other half seen the size of it, she was like... <laughs> And it's not that big either, but yeah, there we go. So, um, yeah, I've done a bit of a time lapse inspired by Matt Jones. Loving his videos at the minute. Um, check it out. Tell me what you think. Leave some comments. Just a little bit of viewing for you. Um, thanks going out to my daughter, Nyla, for helping me out with the vid. Um, well, not with the vid so much, but helping me out with the dig. Um, she really gives some, gives some hard work and grafted. So it was cool. All right, so... Yeah, over to the time lapse. Enjoy. Started off by find, finding loads of uh, old rotten wood and tree stumps and that, and started to make piles up. Then I got some more solid wood and started to make a takeoff. Filled the gaps with sand. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a friend that's uh, got a scaffolding company, so uh, he helped me out with some materials. Um, yeah, race face. Ah, there's my helper. And a beer, of course, to top things off. Okay, so I um, got some four foot scaffolding poles and knocked them into the ground and then got some scaffolding boards and uh, sawed them in half, put them in front of it and filled the dirt behind it all really, raked it all out, dropped a few tree trunks and that in there, um, Bob's your uncle, oh, look at them pair. Just two days of work, not full days obviously, but yeah baby, look at that, that's the landing, 
That's the takeoff. A little bit more work to do. Getting the hole ready for a bit of drainage when that day comes. <sighs> Done a little dip there so it runs. See, so coming from there and it just drops down a little bit before the takeoff. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a nice little jump. Nice little jump. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my first ever dig project. I've helped other people dig in, at times, but I've never um, just done my own thing. Owned it, designed it, and seen it through. Yeah. I say it's my own. I've got to give some credit to this young one as well, because she's helped me out Hello. loads. Um, it's nice to have seen her commit to something, actually. And, and <laughs> it's not that bad, you mess. Uh, commit something and just work hard and not moan and just keep going at it so uh yeah uh so yeah welcome to the jump spot the one jump spot though um thanks to matt jones i've learned a bit of a skill on how to i don't know whether it's quite as good i see the way he's molding jumps and that but i think it should give me that smooth sort of texture anyway right now but when well, it dries yeah providing i can keep people off it which might be a bit challenging especially dogs uh, that's the landing, which, uh, yeah, it's it's fine. It's not it's quite as pretty as I thought. It might be just the smoothness, but yeah, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, and then we've got a little drainage system as well, which works perfectly. I don't know if you can see that. Just have to go there. Yeah. And we've tested it. And it works. And it works. As you can see, there's quite a bit of water in there. Yeah. So, has it been now? Challenging, fun. And different. Hmm. Question is, are you going to jump it? Maybe like <laughs> a different time because I don't think I can jump that far. I think I just land in here. Hmm. Maybe at the end of the summer. Maybe we'll see. Um, if you were curious, we were listening to Rat Pack just a bit hey. of old school drum and bass. To the north, to the south, to the east, to the west. west, west, west. Stay, stay home, home, stay, stay safe. safe. Follow the Follow guidelines. guidelines. Keep it cool, London, 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 London. Stay home and stay safe. www.coolondon.com Okay, so that was my local jump that I've built with my daughter. And, uh, yeah, all I'm going to say on it is, obviously I haven't got a massive estate or uh, acres of land to build on. So I did do it on, like, public property, which um, you shouldn't do. But I just thought, I'll do it. We're in isolation. We'll have a bit of fun. And if anyone's offended by it, I'll get rid of it. And before I even got to ride it, someone was offended by it. So um, I decided that I was going to get rid of it the very next day. Uh, and so before getting rid of it, that morning, I thought, I've got to ride it. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, someone complained about it. Um, it wasn't blocking any right away or anything like that. I just changed the landscape slightly. And, um, yeah, someone was offended by it. So I says, look, if you're upset by it, I'll get rid of it. It's not a problem. And so that was the agreement. So I thought, first thing in the morning, I'm going to jump it. It was chucking it down with rain. 
really heavy. So the run up to it was hard to pick up speed. It was slippy on there. So it wasn't great, great in the end, but got it done. Um, all I'm going to say on it all is that the experience of building the, the jump was good because it was the first one I'd really built properly on my own uh, and designed. And um, it was really good to experience, experience that with my daughter. Um, that was really, you, you've seen already in the video, so I'm going to stop waffling. Here's me jumping it. On to the next one. Letters.